Hi guys and welcome back to the Lego Movie 2 video game. Now hopefully you've had a chance to watch some of the series so far. Um, basically I've just finished off the uh, the main story so now we're going into Rexplorer system. Now the Rexplorer system essentially has open world environments where you've just got to collect the bricks. Um, so I'm going to run through it, I'm going to get all the bricks. Uh, so the next several videos are going to be different environment from the Rexplorer system. So jumping straight in and we're off to the Old West. Now if you have watched some of the uh, the previous videos I did actually visit it as part of the story briefly didn't get any bricks but uh, it was very much uh, about you just have to go there and there was a bit where you got the camera and stuff like that so um, but now we're jumping in we're gonna do all the missions all the side missions get all the bricks anyway there's 25 bricks to get so let's jump straight in right so here we are we're in the old west and for some reason we're sparkly Superman but why not? Uh, let's have a look at some of the characters we've got. Who are we going to be? We've got quite a few characters to play with here. Um, Batman. Oh, do I go with Batman? We could go with Rex. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's stick with Rex for now. Let's have a look. So we've got 25 bricks to get. So let's see if we can get some of the uh, bricks. It's a good opportunity to explore, really. What's oh, a brick up there? No. How am I going to get up there? Oh, there you go, first break done. Only 24 to go. <laughs> right. Yeah, so as I said, there's there's quite a few of these environments in the Rexplorer world. It's a good opportunity once you complete the main story. Uh, basically, as you complete the main story, you start unlocking these planets. So you can go to them at any point. I've saved them all until I've completed the story. But uh, essentially, there are there's the old west, there's a Bricksburg, I think there's a Unikitty planet as well. Um, so there's plenty to explore. So very, very much looking forward to seeing what this game has to offer once you've completed the main story. Because there is still a lot, and the story's quite short. Well, there's the brick. It's also a, a brilliant opportunity to get loads and loads and loads of bricks and also you need to complete these worlds and also to unlock everything you need to complete the Cispocalypseburg world. I think that's I think that's the one the one where you basically have to do the super build a uh, super build. Fists of Fury Boom, so we're doing pretty well, we've got three. Um I know I said with the uh, with the story, um, I've kind of cut up long playthroughs. Uh, with this, because it's an open world, I'm I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go. So if this is a long video and you do get bored, I do apologise. But you do have the ability to fast forward. Um, right. So where to now? There's a brick somewhere. Oh, it's right up there. How am I going to get that? Can I jump up there? This looks precarious. Because, uh, you know, any side missions involve having bad guys, it's probably not going to be, like, you know, Lego games, it's probably not going to be that difficult to do. I think the only way I'm going to die is through sheer, <laughs> sheer stupidity on my own behalf. So, right, let's take these guys out because he wants me to. They're not much of a challenge. Really not much of a challenge. Boom. Glad I can help. Well, thank you, sir. Right, might as well do the next mission. Uh, yeah, let's go help him. What do you need? All those pesky bandits. I reckon, I reckon they turn, they turn, they turn, turn, it, turn it down, turn it down. Oh, I, I can't read today. Right. There seems to be quite a few chests in here as well, which is awesome. Right. So, there's a brick up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, that we're on five. We are a fifth of the way through. Boom. Only five minutes in as well. It's going well. Right. Yo, I'm guessing hey, I gotta take you here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see another brick. 
<clears throat> yeah, hopefully you've all had a chance to watch at least some of the videos in the story series that I've done. Um, in that, basically, as I've said multiple times throughout that series so far, is this is very different from most LEGO games you would have played in the past. Uh, mainly because it doesn't follow the same template as the, the mainstream LEGO games. This is built on the LEGO Worlds engine, which means there's a lot more flexibility for customization. There's a lot. It's a lot stranger in the mechanics. You don't actually change character, you just essentially just put a a model over the top. So you can every single character can do the same things. Um and you actually unlock tools and stuff like that to use rather than unlocking abilities through characters. Plus one of the reasons why I changed from being Superman is Superman can't fly. So traditionally flying characters uh, traditional flying characters from Lego games can't fly in this game, which is really annoying. Um but yeah, so that's the reason why you may have seen mixed reviews for this game. I'm really enjoying it, but then I like Lego Worlds. Um, this is a lot easier to get your head around the Lego Worlds. Uh, there's a lot more structure to it, so it's like they've learned a lot from Lego Worlds and made this game from it. Uh, awesome. Uh, I'm hoping moving forward they don't ditch the normal template completely, um, but there's definitely room for some of the mechanics in this game to be in the, the standard template. Anyway, well, well, we have to go up to seven already. But nobody will take my place. And I got this robot, Wait. robot cowboy. Oh, man. He's going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Come on, robot sheriff. All right, all right. Is there anything around here? What's well, a chest? Nice. Also, if you haven't watched any previously, uh, the glowy things are really, really important because they unlock things in the shops. So, when you reach a point that you can... I don't know why I've just picked up a rat. Um, when you reach the point where you go to the uh, the super build world, the Sistapocalypseburg... Oh, there is a way out here. Um, you've essentially got to build your own town. And that's how you get the bricks for that world. But you need to unlock everything first in order to do that. Alright. There we go. Another fine job. I'm good Jeff. to you, Sheriff. Oh, the look on his Bought your robot Martin sheriff. Give me another brick. <laughs> uh, We've almost cleaned up the town. That means there's at least one well, there's one cell left. Power free. A report has just come in of people. Uh, a report has just come in. Okay. Okay. So, I've got most of these minifigures from uh, twenty from the twenty fourteen uh, minifigures collection that came out for Lego Movie. I'm gonna jump on the horse. Why walk fourteen, whatever measurement it is, is it meters? You must be off the rails to think you can stop us. Yep. Boom. All right. Let's do this. Boom, 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 and boom. <laughs> that is one mechanic I do very much like. It's kind of similar in a way to um, in The Incredibles, the, the super, super attack. Right. She better be following me. I'm not handcuffing her in good faith. I love that, the old west sign in the background. Oh... This is making me want to watch a Lego movie. Nice work, or play a Lego movie you game. Oh, down. I should do that at some point. I don't think there's anyone more deserving of this reward. There we go. Oh, we got awesome. A fistful of studs. Completed the old west. No, we haven't. Okay. I didn't know that, so apparently there are... Oh, awesome. There we go. We've got another building to put in our town. Uh, brilliant. So... There we go. Uh, so there are kind of like mini quests to do in each Explorer world, I'm, ho I'm hoping anyway, at least in this one, um, which gives you an achievement, which is brilliant. Um, but it's not going to stop us getting the other 16 bricks that I need. So let's go for it. How am I going to get that one up there? Don't know. Could, uh, could I, I've got flying. 
I've got flying vehicles. Ooh, I'll get that one. Nice. <gasps> awesome. Right, we may have to do the rest of the level as Cowboy Emmett. <laughs> Alright, might as well get one of everything in here. Because I'm sure it'll be useful at some point. Zombie girl. Nice. Alright, torch. Right, there we go. We cleared out the shop. I think we're done. Uh, I'm going to unlock this and see what this is while I'm here. I'm not going to do the rest of them. Where am I? Yeah, let's, let's see what we've got. Ugh. Give me something good. Right, let's get back on it. We've got 15 to get. Alright, I'm going to get a flying vehicle, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get one of Betty's spaceships. I know I've got one in here, I'm sure of it. Yes, I have. Awesome. Uh, I'll take the pink one because it's smaller. Alright, this seems like the best plan for getting these bricks. Right, where was that brick that I saw that was in an archway? That's got an opportunity to explore, to be fair. Look at it. It's not a bad little town. You know, the environments are quite big. I'd love to have the amount of bricks it would take to build this from scratch, because that would be awesome. There we go, there's a brick. There's that one. I'm going to get that one, and then I think there's one other one that's quite high up we'll get. I don't know whether this is technically cheating, but I'm doing it. Right, no, that's not the archway one. That means there's one in here. I'll come back for that. There's the archway. There's just a random horse, a saddled horse, just randomly walking along on its own. <laughs> oh, there's a brick. I kind of want to go down the zip line, but... Oh! Oh, the game just pushed me down. It didn't want me to, it didn't want me to do that. So I, if I can get up here and get this brick, then I'll come back and do the zip line. Oh. Let's not break. Ah, a fool. Okay. Not gonna let me do it, are you? Ow! Right, come on then. I'll go up here and I'll do the zip line. There's a mission up here as well, actually. Uh, kind of makes sense. Oh, what do you need? Oh, you want me to build? Oh, I'll build you a campfire. Be a nice easy brick. No, nope, not the tree. <laughs> Try again. There you go. Boom. One brick, please. Ooh. And a train station. Awesome. Right. Let's do the zip line. Wee. <laughs> wow, I didn't realise it was that long. Right, there we go. Boom. So we are up to 13. Awesome. Right, anything around here? Ooh. I have a chest. There'll be some glowy things in there. We need the glowy thing. Nice. Right, there we go. Took 12 more to get. 
It's going pretty well. I think we're going to be able to get everything into a video without it being stupidly long. What is that guy doing up there? Hello. You appear to be walking into a wall. I'll leave you to it, mate. Enjoy. Oh, that was a lot steeper than I was expecting. Hello. Why are they cut? What? Those cars seem a bit out of time. Uh, you're not around here, are you? But I'm going to trust you anyway. Deliver this for me. Okay. Can I use this car? Nope. <laughs> why Why is there a car? That car is not supposed to be. Okay. Ooh. This, this, get, oh, I'll come back for that. Right. Saying that, visiting the blacksmith, there was a car that shouldn't be there in a cave. That's not a Back to the Future reference, is it? I don't know. Right. There's a brick round here. No, it must be up the top. Right. Oh, a race. There just aren't enough races in this game. For a Lego game. Right, let's go. Now I have seen one of the things that you can unlock as a unicorn, so at some point I'm gonna do i I'm gonna do a race with a unicorn. Because for no reason. <laughs> What's that? Alright, well if I win this, then I've only got ten more bricks to find, so we are doing really well. There's still quite a lot of well, there's a lot of dogs. I'll be back for you later, Hart. If you ever see those hearts, make sure you get them because uh, they unlock when a mega shards, um, uh, mega relics, or something. Uh, mega relics essentially allow you to they give you more than one item, and they're usually pretty decent items as well. So well worth getting any of those hearts that you see. Right, look at that with 40 seconds to go. Boom. <laughs> Go. Right, ten more to go. You've just done your race. Right. Uh, okay. I need to get up top. Right. It's actually quite a fun environment. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've done with the other ones. There's, I know there's a Bricksburg, which I'm quite looking forward to exploring. I did like the open world Blick Bricksburg in uh, the first Lego movie game. It was pretty awesome. I need to do a Let's Play on that. Um, I did do it as a retrospective review a while back, and I really enjoyed it. And I wouldn't mind going back to it. Uh, the only thing that the, the only thing that ruined that game was the fact that it was so spoilery. And I think they really made really made a difference in this one. Uh, I'm going to change to where's Cowboy Emmett? Where is he? Where is he? I've got quite a lot of characters now. Where are you, cowboy Emmett? God, I'm blind. Where is he? There he is. There we go. Right. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, the first like a movie game, I really enjoyed it, but it was really, really, really spoilery. Uh, spoilery. Spoilery. I think that's a word. Um, but yeah, so essentially it was almost scene for scene um, what happened in the film. So if you hadn't seen the film, you couldn't really play the game without getting spoiled. Whereas this, there made so much more of an effort of, um, to use the environments in the movie, yes. And there is a spoiler at the end of the story, I'm not going to lie, but I did put a warning on my video for that one. Um, but, you know, other than that, there's another brick down there. Other than that, they've kind of just used the environments and then gone off and done their own thing. They, they've definitely changed a lot. So if you have seen the film and you played the game, you know they've changed a lot, um, which is a good thing. Um, so, but I still love the Lego Movie one. It's such a 
It's such a good West. Great film, and I really enjoyed the game. It's so much fun. Right. What? You need some gold. I've got some gold. You can have some of mine. No? Okay. Destruction. Awesome. Well, how are we doing? We're up to 18, so we've only got seven more to get. I think this is going to be quite a nicely timed video. Awesome. Right. Oh, ooh, would you like some gold? <laughs> Boom. Nice. Right, six more to get. And by the looks of it, there's quite a few that are still open. Mind you, look at all those. There's quite a lot of tasks still to do. Well, there's three? Three side missions? Let's have a look. Right, we've got one. Right. I think it's up the top. Yes, I can see it. It's on that bridge. Right, let's get up here. Yee-haw! I don't actually own that mini minifigure. I don't remember seeing it in any of the sets uh, that came out in 2014. It's really annoying because it's quite an awesome minifigure. Right, here we go. Number 21, awesome! Right, so, if we say there's, what, three more missions left to do, which means there's only one brick outstanding somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? I'll get that last... Oh, it's actually right by the missions. Awesome. Wow, I can't believe we're actually going to complete the whole thing in one video. This is good news. Right. I hope the rest of the worlds are like this. Hello. I'm just going to go and get this brick and I'll come back and see you. Right, 22. Three more to go and they're all missions. What do you need? Some bear to snake my horses. Ah, that would explain why there's a random horse just doing nothing. Uh, where's... Where did I see that? Where did I see that? I know, that horse looks remarkably like the one that this guy's using for his race. <laughs> I'm going to steal his horse. I love the fact the legs don't move. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there's a horse right there. Oh, never mind. Alright. One down. So we just need a brown one. Oh, I could have just used that one. How annoying. I actually made that mission harder and longer for myself. Awesome. There we go. Ooh, and we got a barn. And a brick, right? Two more bricks to go, and two more missions by the looks of it. Uh, right, let's do this guy. Ooh, what we gotta do? Ooh, zombies! Lots of, lots of studs. Awesome. Take the studs. Ooh, and that over there. I'll go for that in a minute. Ah! Right, there's one more zombie somewhere. There he is. Yeah! <laughs> what was with that jump? Right, there we go. 24 out of 25. One more to get. Right. Let's do this. Maybe, is there a second race? It's the, it's the guy that I just did the race for. Is he going to want to do it again? I don't know. I'll do it. Let's see what happens. Maybe it glitched. I don't know. Ooh. Actually, there's less time to do it this time. Okay. So maybe it's the second race. This could be the last brick, people. 
be pretty awesome. Go, go, go! I do think these <laughs> these races are a little bit of a waste of time, just purely on the basis that <laughs> yeah, you can only go a certain speed anyway. But I suppose it's about the technique of not doing what I just almost nearly did. Um, so there is there is some technique to it, but you know it's it's really slow paced and it's quite painful, much like the the Lego Dimensions races. Oh my god, they were painful because all the cars essentially go at the same speed. Um, obviously you can upgrade them, but yeah, it can be quite painfully tedious, much like this. So it's the last break though, so and this is a little bit harder. Plus I've only got 46 seconds, 45 seconds on you! Hopefully I'll make it. Go, go, go! There we go. We've got 30 seconds to spare. We can do this. Boom! You better be giving me a brick now. Boom! There we go. All masterpieces on this planet collected. And... Ooh! A rare achievement. Wow. One of the people that actually made the effort to do it. Awesome. Only 6% of people that played this game have made it this far. Wow. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's how you do every single brick in the Old West. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give me a thumbs up if you have. Um, I'm just going to go and spend loads of money in the shop. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And do leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. Let me know what you think of the movie. Hopefully you played and seen the movie. Uh, played the game, seen the movie. Um, because as I said... There are there are a few spoilers. It's nowhere near. Oh, what was that? Uh, it's nowhere near as bad as the first game, but it is still is still a few spoilers. Um. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video going on to another planet next. Um. In my next video, will be very 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 soon. But for now, thanks. Bye bye.